All right guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about some of the richest doctors out there, talk about what they do, how they got the money that they did, how long it took, some interesting facts. Let's get into it. So first, we're gonna start with Dr. Garth Fisher with an estimated net worth of over $15 million. Now, Dr. Fisher is a trained plastic surgeon, but he's also a television personality making appearances in shows like ABC, Extreme Makeover. Now, in addition to being on TV, he's also the co-founder of his own skincare company. And fun fact for Dr. Fisher, in honor of his contributions to plastic surgery, he was actually knighted, so he's Sir Garth Fisher, which is like just cool. I, I need to get one of those. Now, next up, we have Dr. Robert Ray, who has a net worth of an estimated $15 million. Now, he's also a trained plastic surgeon. I think you're going to start to see a theme here. And he's gotten some of his training at places like Tufts and Harvard. Now, in addition to being a plastic surgeon, as if that wasn't enough, he's actually had over 100 television appearances, including his own reality series on E. I'm Robert Ray. I'm a Denver Hills plastic surgeon. My professors thought I was crazy. It's the most competitive place in the world, but I want to conquer the mountaintop. So here I am there with us. Next we have Dr. David Drew Pinsky, or better known as Dr. Drew, with an estimated net worth of over $20 million. Now he's a trained internist as well as addiction medicine specialist, but he's also a media and TV personality with multiple podcasts under some form of his name. And he's also cameoed in some very notable shows, including Family Guy, Dawson's Creek, and Robot Chicken. <laughs> Now, in terms of fun fact, it was actually hard to pick one. Dr. Drew actually showed up on the show Wheel of Fortune back in the 1980s. No, no pee. Is there a pee? No shit, no pee. He unfortunately didn't win because Dr. Drew, we can't be good at everything. But on the other note, he actually has an asteroid named after him. I just need to know what I need to do to become a knight as well as have an asteroid named after me. That's my lesson after this video. So next up, we have Dr. Leonard Hochstein with an estimated net worth of over $20 million. And I'm just gonna give it a wild guess for you to think about what specialty it does. You're right, plastic surgery. Now, interesting enough, Dr. Hochstein actually trained at the same institution that I'm currently training at. So hopefully that means some good things for me in my future. Now, he's not just another plastic surgeon. In fact, he's done over 27,000 procedures, including press augmentations, lifts, you name it. And he's considered to be one of the top plastic surgeons in the country, and he has his infamous name, wait for it, the boob guy. Now, I leave it up to you, but I'm pretty sure that name is trademarked, and the only thing I have to say is I guess somebody had to. Now, next up, and probably my personal favorite, is Dr. James Andrews. Now, Dr. Andrews is known to be like the orthopedic god for athletes. His net worth is kind of in a large range, anywhere from above 20 to $50 million to going up to $100 million. Now, orthopedic surgeons make a lot, but when you look at the clientele that Dr. Andrews has, given his expertise in sports medicine, it's not hard to understand how he's able to build such a high net worth. He's done procedures, operations on athletes such as Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, Drew Brees, Brett Favre, and Adrian Peterson. And personally, in my own life, he's such a household name that every time I watch ESPN and there's a major injury, his name is likely associated with a surgeon that's going to be evaluating that athlete. And while he's extremely successful, I did look. He doesn't have an asteroid named after him, and he's not knighted yet. Next up, we have Dr. Terry Dubrow with an estimated net worth of over $50 million. He's a trained, you guessed it, plastic surgeon and also a media personality. Now, while he may not have an asteroid named after him, him and his wife actually have their own diet called the Dubrow diet, which from what I understand, it's probably another version of intermittent fasting. And they both also show up on the show Real Housewives of Orange County. So as the making of this video, I have now three new goals for 2021, which is to have a diet named after me and an asteroid as well, and to somehow figure out how to become a knight. So next up on my list, I'm super excited because we have the first female and actually first females to be on this list. And so next on the list, we're talking about Dr. Kathy Fields and Dr. Katie Roden, who are infamously known for creating the company Proactive. And both of them have a net worth of an estimated $800 million. Both of them actually met in residency at Stanford where they were trained in dermatology and then went to go ahead and create the empire that is Proactive early in the 1990s. Now Proactive was actually initially bought by Estee Lauder in the early 2000s, but just a few years later, both Dr. Roden and Dr. Fields actually decided to buy the company back and have grown it to the empire it's become today. And now both physicians were named on 2020's Forbes list of self-made women. So to have some females on this list, I definitely have to give you your props and probably should try some proactive myself because homeboy is starting oh, to break no. out. So next up we have Dr. James Leninger or better known as Dr. Jim with an estimated net worth before $1.5 billion. Now Dr. James is known for creating the company Kinetics Concept which was basically designed 
to help revolutionize and focus on wound care. And he used this fortune that he got from creating Kinetic's concept to then go into other ventures, including being a part owner of the San Antonio Spurs. He was inducted into the Texas Business Hall of Fame, which if you're from Texas, that's probably pretty difficult to do. But he's also donated millions of dollars to institutions, including my own, UT Southwestern. Now we're getting closer to number one, but next up we have Dr. Gary Mickelson with an estimated net worth of about $1.7 billion. Just, just 1.7. Now he's a trained orthopedic surgeon and spine surgeon, which has helped him create his Michelin devices, which are basically instruments that are used for spinal surgeons during, well, spine surgery. And he has over 950 either issued or pending patents related to spinal surgery. In addition to having a massive fortune, he also has a massive heart. His philanthropic efforts include planting over 3.5 million trees in Costa Rica, as well as creating a foundation to prepare animals and pets with their homes. Next up, we have Dr. Patrick Soon Shang, which has an estimated net worth of, I honestly can't believe this as I'm looking this up, $6.6 .6 billion. Now he's a trained transplant surgeon, but he's definitely a bioscientist and medical entrepreneur, famously known for his creation of his company, Abraxan, which is a taxol chemotherapy agent. And he's used that fortune to buy other endeavors, including being the owners of things such as the Los Angeles Times and the San Diego Tribune. And as of 2020, he was actually number 230 37 of Forbes 400 list of billionaires. And close to my heart, he actually used some of his fortune to be a minority stake owner in the Los Angeles Lakers. Love you, LeBron. And finally, number one, we have Dr. Thomas Fritz Jr. with an estimated net worth of about $14.8 billion. Now he's amassed his incredible net worth through the creation of his company, Hospital Corporations of America Healthcare or HCA Healthcare, which is basically a collaboration of facilities throughout the country. An interesting fact, obviously he's on the fortune list of richest billionaires, but he's also the wealthiest person in the state of Tennessee. But these guys are some of the richest doctors in the world in the United States, obviously. There may have been some individuals I may have missed or people who we just don't know of how massive of a fortune they have, but it just goes to show you as to becoming a physician, all we talk about money being a little taboo, there are definitely people who use their expertise to grow companies and businesses that not only help themselves, but hundreds and millions of people. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video and this episode, go ahead and just take a second. I know you have one of these and go ahead and just go ahead and hit that like button. Supports the video, supports the channel, lets me know that you guys enjoy this kind of content, want more like this. Go ahead and also consider hitting that subscribe button for getting two videos just like this. Drop your comments and questions down below. What do you think about those lists? Is there anyone that I missed? Who is probably the most inspiring to you? Who do you not want to be like? And most important question, do you want to have an asteroid named after you or not? But in all seriousness, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos just like this one, then check out this video right here to see how much doctors make in the United States. And check out this video to explain the exact steps that I took to become a doctor, including my scores, the cost, and the time. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on your journey. Thanks for always being a part of mine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.